Hi, my name is Emilio Di Benedetto, and I'd like to walk you through uh, how CN Archer can be used to install EPMP SMs. We've uh, starting with uh, CN Archer release version 1.2.4. Uh, we've introduced uh, beta support for EPMP. So let's go to the Play Store and. Uh, we can install CN Archer, but before doing that, um, let's join the beta. Um, if we don't join the beta, then we won't get the uh, latest version, which has EPMP support. So I'm going to click uh, Join the Beta Program and scroll back up. So there's this message saying uh, beta sign up in progress. It takes a few minutes. Once you've opted into the beta, you'll want to wait those few minutes until the Google Play Store says that um, you're a beta tester for this app. Now that you have this message, um, you can install um, CN Archer. Okay, so now CN Archer can be used with or without CN Maestro. Uh, by using it with CN Maestro, uh, you can uh, onboard the SM into your CN Maestro account at the end of uh, the installation. And you also have the option to apply a uh, CN Maestro configuration template uh, at the end of the installation. Uh, in my case here, I'm going to use a CN Maestro cloud account And after typing in my login and password, I can click on validate. It'll show me uh, my Cambium ID, or if I have multiple. Um, in most cases, your organization may just have one. And um, type in your uh, installer onboarding uh, key. And this is used to configure onto the device at the time of onboarding. So. Uh, with starting with CN Archer 1.2, uh, for your first time experience, you can uh, indicate which device type you'd like to get started. They're both supported, um, but if you're just getting started with the EPMP, uh, you should definitely select the EPMP here. And then the next couple screens will be tailored to EPMP. So uh, talk to your network administrator and get a comprehensive list of AP frequencies and channel bandwidths that are used in your network and uh, enter them here. So in my case here, I'm just using uh, channel 2462. So I'll enable that. But if we were any, um, using a few additional uh, frequencies in this 2.4 band, we could enable those as well. And you'll see that I've got three selected for the 2-4 band. I can go ahead and enter um, five gig frequencies as well. Um, the app would only apply the ones that are um, relevant for the device that's being installed. Now at this point, while I still have um, network connectivity, let's say uh, to the internet, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download uh, EPMP version 352. This is the minimum software version that the device needs to be running in order to work with CN, Maestro, or CN Archer. Um, but the good thing is that um, CN Archer will detect if your device is running an older version and um, will give you the option to update uh, right from your phone. Now CN Archer communicates to the SM using uh, the mobile device's Wi-Fi and the expectation is that you're using some sort of um, maybe battery powered dongle or uh, uh, a small uh, Wi-Fi uh, router to establish connectivity to your SM's LAN interface. So in this case, I'm using um, a battery dongle. So I'm going to select that dongle and you'll notice that um, CN Archer is automatically assigning 
uh, static IP that's in the same subnet as the SM's uh, 169.254.1.1 interface. Um, if for some reason you want to um, just manage uh, the Wi-Fi yourself, uh, you can opt out of, uh, of having CN Archer control it. But in most cases, we would expect that you'd uh, let CN Archer control your Wi-Fi so that it can set the static IP and talk to the SM for most of the installation. And then at the end, if you're using CN Maestro, it'll DHCP, get an IP assignment from your network, and then it'll establish connectivity to your CN Maestro account. Now, in this case here, uh, this is a warning telling me that um, I need to release control of this SSID. So I'm going to click on the settings page and press and hold on that particular um, SSID and say forget network and go back. So now my uh, Android uh, OS uh, no longer has control of that SSID. And now uh, when I click connect, CN Archer now uh, is controlling that SSID. So once you start using CN Archer for that SSID, uh, it's best to just set the um, SSID through uh, CN Archer. Okay, so now at this point, um, I've connected to the uh, battery dongle and, um, and I'm talking to the SM. So uh, the SM uh, is running version 3.5.1 and it's telling me here that I need 352. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink. And, um, oops, sorry, my bad. Uh, click on the upgrade software button. And then choose the image to um, install. So at the moment, uh, 352 is the only uh, software version that's available. Uh, but as newer versions of EPMP um, are released after 3.5.2, um, you'll be able to store those uh, as well. Okay, this will uh, take a few minutes for the device to update. Okay, and now the device has been updated to 352. So I can see the device status is that it's trying to connect to an AP. And um, I get some basic details of like the type of um, hardware or the MAC address, current software version running. Now this device it happens to be an integrated device uh, with an 11 dBi gain antenna. Um, if I was using a ConnectRise device, I would have the option to click on this uh, tab and set my external gain. So at this point, um, we're ready to configure the scan list uh, per the settings that we set earlier. And so now the, all of the other channels have been in channel band list have been unse unselected. And uh, I can set um, my security settings in this. I'm using WPA2. Uh, when I get to the screen, I want to make sure I scroll down past PMP to EPMP settings. Click on security, select pre-shared key, and then set my pre-shared key. Okay, and now it's going to write that to the radio. Uh, that will be archived, so in the future, if you're doing uh, additional installs, you should not have to enter that again, assuming that you're using the same WPA key um, throughout your network. Uh, at this point, I would um, point my SM in the general direction of the tower and scan for EPMP access points. Uh, it will come back with a list of um, APs that it can see uh, with the strongest signal one uh, at the top. Um, okay, in this case, I only uh, see one AP. 
So it's uh, showing me it's coming in with a downlink RSSI of minus 63 dBm and uh, is on channel 2462 with 20 megahertz. Uh, also note that it's showing that this particular um, AP is using uh, WPA security as opposed to being open. Um, so if I have um, if I haven't entered my security credentials, then I would know that in order before I can choose to connect to that one, I'd need to go and edit my settings. Again, the settings are always accessible from the main menu, settings page, and scroll down to EPMP. Okay, now at this point, um, I have uh, two options. Uh, since the SM is actually registered to this AP, I can just hit continue um, or I can click on the AP itself and now um, it will make uh, this AP the preferred AP with this SM. So either one is, uh, is, is uh, possible. So I'll make it the preferred AP and, um, and now I'm going to do an alignment. Uh, again, this is a lab setup and it's connectorized, so I uh, can't really um, vary the signal strength much here. But the general uh, recommendation is that the installer should uh, scan point towards the tower and then uh, scan two times the SM's beam width in the horizontal and vertical directions um, to make sure that um, the to make sure that the entire uh, area has been scanned and that he's captured um, the main lobe. In other words, the uh, best or um, strongest possible downlink signal. And um, so in this case, the best is uh, that has ever been um, recorded is retained as the best. And then it's showing a current. Um, this orange bar that's uh, changing from uh, the, on the left side of the screen is simply indicating um, how far off your current RSSI is from the best that you've seen. So uh, in a real world environment, the idea would be to um, try and minimize that. Once you've uh, swept over your large uh, vertical and horizontal beam widths, um, then to try and minimize that orange bar to get back to your best value. Uh, the channel zero and channel one um, are showing um, indications of the downlink uh, receive signal strength of the SM on its two receivers. And the goal would be to try and minimize the delta between those two, and that's the signal strength ratio. So ideally, uh, the signal strength ratio uh, should be uh, within plus or minus one dBm or less. So assuming that we've uh, optimized the alignment um, now and tightened, uh, you know, tightened down the SM, uh, we can run a link test. And the link test is showing uh, the downlink and uplink throughputs as well as the modulations in both directions. If we wanted to run uh, multiple link tests, uh, you, you can, and then there's an option to display a table where you can show um, all of the values that you've, you've gotten. So at this point, um, there's just a, a final bit of uh, configuration. So we could put uh, the device name, uh, set approximately how many meters uh, off the ground um, the SM is installed at. Uh, we have the, if you're using NAT, you can enable NAT. Um, if you're, you could, it defaults to DHCP IP, but if you're using static, um, you can set your IP information and then you have the option to um, enable and set management or data VLAN. So now those uh, details are getting saved to the SM and the device is getting rebooted. And 
um, in this case, uh, since I'm using, uh, I've associated a CN Maestro account with this, uh, with CN Archer, um, it's going to um, attempt to connect to CN, the SM will attempt to connect to CN Maestro. So now I'm at the onboarding page where I can add um, a comment. Uh, there's the option to apply um, software um, updates directly from CN Maestro, but um, not necessary since we've done it earlier in the install. And lastly is the option to apply um, a configuration template. Okay, so we have uh, an installation summary with the option to take um, some photographs. So taking one off of the community forum here, just as an example. And um, up to four photographs can be uh, included. And you can click on the detailed summary here to see um, all of the items that are included in the summary. And there's an option to um, email the summary if you'd like by clicking on the share icon and then done. From the main menu, we can go to the work order and we can see um, a work order has been uh, created, which kind of archives uh, this installation. Again, it's shareable via email. And that's it. So I hope this uh, was a helpful uh, first overview, CN Archer, for EPMP SM installations. Thank you.